A Tale of Four Managers Susie Q is an academic coach at a large property. Midpen was lucky that she came on board. She has a lot of teaching experience as she's taught at a public school and has also worked with elementary through high schoolers. To top it off, she's credentialed to teach in California. Susie has a burning issue she's eager to resolve. Let's watch as four managers offer their help. Try to identify a good match in leadership style. Hi, Superstar Manager. I'm concerned about the dynamics my property is facing with the after-school program, and I would love to bounce some ideas off of you. Here's the issue. The kids are very excited about the reading. They're really engaged and they're participating, but anytime the kids are super excited, the CM comes in and says it's too loud. I've taught in elementary and high schools before where we didn't need to be so conscious of the noise level. I've even taught the kids how to use spirit fingers. I've talked to the CM about how important the reading is to the kids and their learning. And I know that the level of enthusiasm means they're truly engaged. And I want to keep that alive. I'm starting to think this isn't for me. Ugh, maybe working in education within housing doesn't work. I don't see my skills being put to good use. I'm not a babysitter. Susie, you should be able to handle the situation. I hire you because you came to meet Penn highly recommended and also in your resume your your show you showing to us that uh, you had experience and you were a leader and now you are doubting yourself if the children are not behaving and making noise this is what you should do you should speak with the children bring their parents and if they do not obey your directive they will not be able to participate in the program do you understand thank you Susie, let's see how I can help you. Share with me what would success look like in your opinion. How could you convince the community manager that what you are doing is good teaching? What would help convince the community manager that excited engaged kids are good for the community? Here is what we are going to do. Let's schedule a meeting with the community manager so we can let her know why this is important and brainstorm about how we can accommodate everyone at the property. Susie, how can I help you with resolving this matter? I suggest to meet with all of the parties so you can present how you use your um, teaching skills. You might also ask them to attend a session of your class. What are your thoughts? Susie, you know you were the top teacher at your school. How could you doubt your abilities now? Not only are you a great teacher, but I bet you can take on this new challenge of resolving this conflict with the property manager. By the way, Nevada has been having a similar problem at her property. So after you resolve this, could you please share how you did it with Nevada? You have a bright future ahead as a manager. Oh, and please send me an email when you've taken care of the problem. Thanks.